Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the books Focused Neurology and Exam Oriented Clinical Neurology. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very important uh, topic the treatment of Parkinson's disease as well as other disorders like Wilson's disease. The treatment of Parkinson's disease and Wilson's disease movement disorders part 4. Treatment of Parkinson's disease levodopa it is primarily used in elderly Parkinson's disease patients. Levodopa is the mainstay of therapy for Parkinson's disease. Levodopa is routinely administered in combination with a peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor carbidopa at least 75 mg to prevent its peripheral metabolism to dopamine and the development of nausea and vomiting due to the activation of the dopamine receptors in the area postrema which lacks blood brain barrier. The levodopa induced motor complications. It consists of fluctuations in motor response that is on episodes when the drug is working and off episodes when the Parkinsonian features return and involuntary movements such as dyskinesias which typically complicate on periods and presumed to be due to upregulation of dopamine receptors. It has been hypothesized that the more continuous delivery of levodopa might prevent the development of motor complications. So it has been hypothesized that the intermittent delivery of levodopa is the root cause of dyskinesias and therefore a more continuous delivery of levodopa might prevent the development of motor complications like dyskinesias. Dopamine agonists it is primarily used in young Parkinson's disease patients. So levodopa is primarily used in elderly Parkinson's disease patients whereas dopamine agonist is primarily used in young Parkinson's disease patients. Dopamine agonists are less prone than levodopa to induce dyskinesias possibly because they are relatively long acting and therefore many physicians initiate therapy with a dopamine agonist particularly in younger patients. Dopamine agonists can be associated with impulse control disorders. Dopamine agonists can be associated with impulse control disorders. What are these impulse control disorders? They cause pathologic, pathologic gambling, hypersexuality and compulsive eating and shopping. So dopamine agonist, the side effect is impulse control disorders including pathologic gambling, hypersexuality and compulsive eating and shopping. MAOB inhibitors. Inhibitors of MAOB block central dopamine metabolism and increase synaptic concentrations of the neurotransmitter example selgilin, rasagilin and safinamide. COMT inhibitors. Catacol o methyl transferase inhibitors. MOB is monomain oxidase B inhibitors. COMT inhibitors. When levodopa is administered with a decarboxylase inhibitor, it is primarily metabolized in the periphery by the COMT enzyme. Inhibitors of COMT increase the elimination half-life of levodopa and enhance its brain availability. Combining levodopa with COMT inhibitors like entacapone, talcopone reduces off time and prolongs the on time. The other medical therapy is amantidine. Though an antiviral agent, it has got anti-Parkinsonian effects that are thought to be due to NMDA receptor antagonism. In fact, it is most widely used as an anti-dyskinesia agent in patients with advanced Parkinson's disease. In fact, it is the only oral agent that has been demonstrated in control studies to reduce dyskinesia without worsening Parkinsonian features. Surgical therapies, deep brain stimulation. Deep brain stimulation 
DBS stimulates the effects of a lesion without necessitating making a brain lesion. DBS for Parkinson's disease primarily targets the STN or the globus pallidus interna. It is primarily indicated for Parkinson's disease patient who suffer from severe tremor, levodopa induced motor complications that cannot be satisfactorily controlled with drug manipulation. Now let's talk about other diseases. Diffuse Lewy body disease. It is the second most common degenerative dementia after Alzheimer's dementia. The usual picture is a progressive dementia with added Parkinsonian features in an elderly patient. A characteristic feature is psychotic behavior with visual hallucinations, delirium, rapid eye movement sleep behavior disorder and neuroleptic sensitivity. Wilson's disease otherwise known as hepatolenticular degeneration. It is an autosomal recessive disorder due to abnormal copper deposition in the brain, liver and eye due to a genetic defect in the copper transport protein ceruloplasmin. A wing beating tremor, case of fresher ring in the decimens membrane of the cornea with the predominant neurologic manifestations of Parkinsonism and dystonia are characteristic. Treatment is directed at reducing tissue copper levels with penicillamine, trientin and zinc. Halliburton Spatz disease, otherwise known as PKAN. They are a group of inherited disorders characterized by iron accumulation in the basal ganglia and MRI shows a characteristic eye of the tiger sign. So these are all the important concepts of the treatment of Parkinson's disease. The other important concepts of clinical neurology which is exam oriented like history taking, general examination pertaining to neurology, neurologic examination, hemiplegia and paraplegia. All these five chapters I put it in points in a book called exam oriented clinical neurology written by, written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. If interested this book could be purchased. This book will be very useful for clinical neurology exams. The other important book I have written is focused neurology written by me Dr. S. Srinivas. The other important concepts of neurology I put in a question answer format which will be very useful for orals in the exams for students. This book is available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. So if interested this book could be purchased online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to these wonderful concepts of treatment of Parkinson's disease. If you have enjoyed please like and share the link but please subscribe my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my webpage Dr. Srinivas Concepts. Thank you. Bye.